good morning children good morning makla today we are going to start our second lesson that is pipa meets a convict pipa meets a convict okay my father's fa family name is pirip and my first name is philip but as a child as a child i couldn't say either so i called myself pip and then so did everyone else my father's family name is pirip what is that fa child's father's family name was pirip and what was the child's name child name was philip but that child could not call both the names but that ch child could not call both the names so what did he call himself he called himself pip because he had maybe he had some pronunciation problem or some other thing so let us know why did he call himself pip and who is the convict okay so and then so did everyone else when he in, used to introduce himself as pip everyone else also used to call him as pip i say that my name is pirip because that's what, what is written on my father's tombstone and it is what my sister told me i say that my my name is pirip my father's name my name is pirip why that boy mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. saying that his name his father's name was pirip because it was written on the on his father's tomb stone his it was written on his father's tombstone and even his sister also told him the same way that our father name was pirip my sister is married to the blacksmith and her his sister was married with a blacksmith we lived in a marshy area down by the river a few miles from the sea and pirip or pip and his sister and all were living in a marshy area it is down by the river it is down way by the river after some miles away from the sea one day i stood in the churchyard and looked over my parents tombstone at the dark flat wild stone wilderness beyond the churchyard then one day what that boy did he stood in the churchyard in the churchyard means where the christians bury the dead ones bury their dead ones bury antandre avru mann madodu sat theerkondiravarna alli mann mado jagakke avaru en antare churchyard ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಣ್ಣು ಮಾಡಿ ಅವ್ರೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ದೇವರಿಗೆ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರ ಅವ್ರದ್ದೊಂದು ಗೋರಿ ಕಟ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಟಾಮ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಚರ್ಚ್ ಯಾರ್ಡ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಟೂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಚರ್ಚ್ ಯಾರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲುಕ್ಡ್ ಓವರ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟಾಮ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಲುಕ್ಡ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟಾಮ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಅವರ ಗೋರಿಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ತಿದ್ದ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಫ್ಲಾಟ್ ವೈಲ್ಡರ್ನೆಸ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಚರ್ಚ್ ಯಾರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸಾ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ wilderness dark wilderness behind the churchyard the marshes were criss crossed the marshes were criss crossed and it means some trees <coughs> they were criss crossed with the ditches and mounds with the ditches and mounds in the distance i could see the gray line of the river and then far away the sea it was a cold day and also he could see the in the in some distance he could see the gray line of the river means where the river was flowing from distance it was looking like a gray line and from some distance he was he could see the sea also he could see the sea also and it was a cold day it was cold day means where the we we, we feel cold we feel cold the green land and the gray sky made me feel sad because of the gray land gray sea it he it he became sad he started he felt sad so, see when we are alone when we are alone if we see that cloud also the sky is also dull and surround to share something what i am feeling what we are feeling no one is there around us we feel sad first of all the weather is also dull and the surrounding is also dull and we are also feeling bad from inside that time what happens we feel sad even this boy looking at the gray land and the gray sky 
he became sad he was feeling sad i suddenly realized that i was an orphan and i began to cry and then he realized that i have lost my parents and i am like a orphan orphan means the child who doesn't have the parents or the a mother only mother father who doesn't have the parents okay they are called as orphans because he is growing up in someone else's house he is she is his sister even though it, he doesn't have the freedom what we have with our parents see when we are with our parents we may ask we have all the rights to ask them to demand them what we want what we need what we want to do what we want need to uh, do where we want to go what we want to eat which type of toy we want to play everything we can demand and ask with our rights but when we are living with someone else but when we are living with someone well someone else what will happen we don't have that all the freedom we don't have that all freedom so he start he realized that i am a orphan means i have lost my parents there are no parents for me and then he began to cry he started to cry he felt very bad that day hold your noise cried a terrible voice it came from a man who had just stepped out <coughs> from behind a gravestone keep still or i will cut your throat then he heard a noise which came behind the from he which came from the behind from a gravestone he heard a noise and that sound was coming from behind the gravestone what that sound was saying hold your noise hold your noise otherwise and keep quiet hold your noise and keep quiet otherwise i'm going to cut your throat means i'm going to cut your tongue i'm going to cut your throat he shouted this man was frightening and that man was so frightening scary his clothes his uh, outlook everything was like scary he was dressed in rough gray clothes and he had a big iron uh, chain on his leg he was wearing some gray rough gray means the clothes which are become very old after we, if we don't wash the clothes for many days and we are wearing them or continuously they become rough and they become gray means dirty and because of the dirt they become hard so that person's clothes were also like rough and gray and he was wearing a chain on his leg he was wearing chain on his leg he was an escaped convict he was an escaped convict convict escaped convict means the person who have who has ran away from the jail and police have left him with a chain police have left him with a chain his shoes were broken and he had an old rag tied around his head his shoes were old his shoes were old and they were torn they were torn they were broken and then he had an old rag old rag means the cloth piece which we tie around the head he he had tied that rag around his head he was dirty from being soaked in the muddy water from <clears throat> the ditches he was covered in scratches from nettles and stones he limped and he limped and shivered and glared and groveled means he was very dirty because he was just soaked soaked means he was fallen into the dirty mud he was fallen into the mud and he had become totally dirty he was looking so dirty so clumsy so and uh, he his clothes were also like very dirty and he was he had so many wounds on his hands legs because because of the nettles and the stones nettles means the sharp edges sharp edges when they poke or when they scratch we get wounds on our hands or wherever we get their scratches we get the wounds because of that he was very uh, dirty and he was injured he was injured and then he was uh, like very uh, he was shivering from the cold because it was a cold day he was shivering from the cold and he was glared and groveled 
glared and glowered means he was looking so horrible and he was so angry he was shouting at that boy he didn't think that he is a small boy he when he was crying remembering his parents he shouted at him if you cry aloud if you make a noise i'm going to cut your tongue his ch uh, teeth chattered in his head as he seized me in the, with the in the, on the chin here when he holded that boy on his chin his teeth were like chattered uh, like like that he was shout he was uh, growling like anything he was so angry he was looking so fearful he was like so uh, dirty clumsy and he came, when he came near the boy and when he held his chin the boy was so scared about him the boy was so scared about him and then what happens next what happens next we will learn in next class okay children take care we meet in next class